child. It's getting pretty hot. Look, it's coming together already. I know it looks a little bit crazy right now, but just uh -huh, trust the process. Snatching the nose, <laughs> yeah. Snatch that nose further. I feel like I've cut fish myself. Do you guys agree? Because like, mm, from where we started and where we are now, like, really tell me. <laughs> hi guys welcome to my channel so has for the title today we are going to be doing an everyday makeup tutorial summer edition yeah because ooh, child. it's getting pretty hot so i thought why not so for the eyeshadow we're doing um something very light and you know something that you can easily wear it is a nude actually so we're doing very minimal on the eyelids but even though it's very minimal we're still going to put a base here yeah? i'm going to use my powders you can use this for so many things yeah don't restrict yourself i'll start with this then at the top i'll probably go in with this or that so these are actually powders but you can use them as well for contouring has eyeshadows if you like you can use it also for setting it just depends it's very versatile with makeup you really just have to be creative and don't really limit yourself um try out new techniques see what works for you i'm just gonna blend that so i'm not really taking it up but i'm kind of just spreading it from the top downwards and just filling the whole bottom eye then i'm gonna go in I'm using another clean brush with a lighter one. Um, how light do we want it? I think I'll go in with this one. Um, just from where the other one ended, we are putting this one. Blend that out. okay so exactly how we want it not so in your face just neutrals just brush the bottom of your eyes you can use an eyeliner if you want but the eyeliner i have is kind of dried out and to be honest it's not one of the best because it dries out so fast and for me that's um that's a no we've made it work i'm literally using my camera to see what i'm doing and so far it's working <laughs> sorry if i'm not looking at you guys i really do apologize but the aim is for you guys to see what it is i'm doing yeah and hopefully you can take a thing or two yeah they could be a tick so i'm using these lashes they just drag so i got this for like um 20 if i'm not mistaken 2015 kwasha i think somewhere about there i like them they're slightly look more natural and yeah so what you want to do with your eyelash before you put it on is see how it's gonna fit is it long or is it gonna be just fine 
Okay, so it looks like it's gonna be fine. The length of this and my actual length is not so bad. I'm just gonna tip off. I'm gonna get a scissors and just tip off. I don't know if you guys can see that. Wait, there's this tiny bit here. Um, I'll cut that off. And at the end, I'm using this NARS. And before I actually put my mascara, just um. Make sure you straighten out your actual lashes and the straight. And then we can just add a bit of mascara, not too much. We just want to make sure that your natural lashes. Okay, so we went ahead and just put our eyelashes off camera and this is what we're looking like. The look is coming together already. So I'm going to be using um, two different foundations um, just to mix them up to get the perfect, you know, lightweight, small skin-like feel. And I'm going to be using this Imani and I'm going to be using the MAC, uh, the Black or Pearl foundation stick as well as the Imani to give a perfect skin like feel so don't always be comfortable with just you know getting what you find try to actually um what's the word again try to actually see what works for you by just um trying on new foundation so with the stick i'm just gonna go ahead and do the things i find that with the stick it's uh the black opal foundation stick it's kind of like hard to blend in so i'm just gonna go in with my setting spray just to help it blend in and I'm using those puffs these ones usually come in a set they're blending puffs so the different shapes and sizes they're more like your actual blenders but yeah in different sizes and shapes and I'm going to be using this one just to help it blend off So this is how I do it. I find that it's combining the two gives me that you know skin like feel uh, with the coverage but then again it's lightweight in the sense that it still feels skin like and it looks like you're gonna see once I'm actually done so you can see already it really looks skin like and it's pretty much covered me very well So yeah, that's why I mostly like this. And I'm just going to go in with this just to neutralize it a bit with the Imani. And then I'm just going to blend that in. I'll use the same. So I'm just neutralizing that. And I find that mixing this tomb really works for my skin it gives me the perfect shade that I want especially uh, you know that shade that gives me a skin like feel okay so we're done like you can see it's just giving that 
very light red skin like texture and yeah i don't feel like i'm putting on too much i can still go about my day and to do me so i'm gonna go in and just you know set this all in with the naked four especially if it's hot even though you're not oily this is a very good step to do uh if it's in summer so just kind of set that off and i'm using this naked four in the shade o2 and it's a loose powder so i'm not putting much of it but just you know and do we making it do the things don't forget the neck as well your chin your ears it's a very minimal but you know very polished Get a very light red setting powder and don't put too much like you can see there's just a little bit that i'm dabbing onto this putting all the excess um just letting whatever remains just set it's gonna conceal my face and you want to just highlight the points that you want to and i'm going to be going in with the same foundation as a concealer i'll place that onto the silicone okay so i went ahead and just highlighted um under my eyes on my chin bridge of my nose and also the sides of my nose uh, my forehead as well as on my sides of my eyes on both okay um i'm going to blend all that in so for the concealer on the side of my eyes i blended it upwards on both ends this helps lift your face and it's very vital if you want a more lifted face and i'm gonna set this with the lighter loose powder i know it looks a little bit crazy right now but just uh -huh, trust the process so while this is actually setting i'm gonna go ahead and just contour it yeah i'm gonna be using this fit me to contour it's on the darker side and um, i'm gonna use my silicone patch Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend. Also, you blend that upwards. I'm gonna go ahead and to use my powder palette to use the darker shades just to contour. So blend it upwards. So we've gone with the powder arrangement, we've contoured with the powder on top of what we already did. Um, 
purpose is to give you definition so your face doesn't actually look flat and snatching the nose <laughs> yeah definitely snatching the nose and I'm just gonna highlight and we good then I'll do the limping. So anyway, let me highlight in front of you guys because I don't say oh how did you highlight and stuff like that. So I'm gonna highlight don't mind my palettes, it's in better days. So just a bit of highlight especially if it's in the day um you don't want to do too much but if it's at night you can slightly go you know up and beyond and yeah let's snatch that nose further by just highlighting the points you want highlighted yeah we want that can you see how this definitely <coughs> i feel like i've cut fish myself do you guys agree because like mm, from where we started and where we are now like really tell me okay we're going in with our lippy just lining them um, i'm doing a lippy with a bit of color so usually i'll just line it up and go with a gloss but I feel like adding in a bit of color today at least <laughs> and is that gonna be a very bold color it's going to be in the nudes so I bought this uh, some place in town some time back I don't even remember where at it works wonders okay so it's in the nudes um looks good i love it i don't know what you guys think but i love it and i'm gonna make it slightly ombre adding this so I'm making it slightly ombre cheeks i think a bit let me put a bit of blush yeah okay so i'm putting a bit of blush just a tiny bit just to further warm my cheeks yeah are our lips ombre enough Oh, we can add a bit more and let me just emphasize on my lower eyelids I had gone in with this so I'm just adding that on the waterline just to emphasize my lids a bit yeah i think they're popping out now so it's slightly dull but now they are popping out i just want to add a little bit of that on my 
my tear ducts it's highlighter because I want them really feather popping yeah and we can do a bit of that and that guys i am ready to rock the day and just take on the day and yeah put on something nice and just take over the day like this is the finished look guys let me know what you think in the comments section if you're not a part of the family do subscribe and let me know what you think of this look would you guys rock it if you would where would you rock it this is a usual everyday makeup look for summer that's just a, a notch ahead a notch up yeah so it's slightly a notch up it's an everyday look for summer but it's slightly a notch up and we love it until the next one bye guys. waiting half a step beyond our door yeah. and if it's